Hello my YouTube friends, today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit, but I'll tell you more about that later. You don't need anything to put on an epic stream with OBS, but there are a few plugins that will easily transform your streams and make it easier to manage. Today I'm going to show you 5 plugins I can't live without in 2022. So you know what? Let's get to it! Transitions make a scene flow better and look great, and there are so many ways to use them. The Move Transition plugin adds amazing transitions and so much more to your live stream. As the name Move Transition would imply, the Move Transition allows you to move assets around the screen when you switch scenes. So the same assets can be moved and zoomed in and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really awesome, but it can do so much more. You can actually move sources around a single scene like this and even zoom them in. It is really, really cool stuff and not only that but there is another thing that you can do i use the move transition to create animations in this menu here on the right hand side so it looks like it's actually animating when it moves from one panel to the next but in reality that's just the move transition making it look animated and it makes things like these menus so much easier likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience so take a second down below and let me know how i'm doing and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. If you want to grow your channel, the best way to do it is with recorded content. The Source Record plugin gives you a lot of recording options to help you really do this right. What the Source Record plugin allows you to do is record multiple video instances with their audio in their full resolution. So in this case, I could record my camera and the game completely separately with completely separate audio. And that way, later in post, when I decide I want to put together a video for the stuff that I might have used on my live stream, I have the full camera in 1920 by 1080 or whatever the camera is and I also have the full video game footage in whatever resolution it is and the beautiful thing is because they're recorded at the exact same time it's really easy to line them up in an editor and create fun and interesting videos using the footage that we already got in our live stream the source record is an absolute dream for that it allows you to record as many sources as you want so if I had other sources in here like chat overlays or something like that we can record those separately they don't have to be included in the video but also most people will use a chat overlay and most folks will have alerts and that sort of thing and you won't have that stuff with its audio cluttering up the actual video camera or the game footage so that you can use it later and completely separately without having all of those other distractions involved. It allows you to completely create all original content with stuff that you already did on your live stream. It's absolutely incredible. A video about live streaming tools wouldn't be complete without today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. I use Placeit in every live stream for my wait screen, my countdown timer, my branding bumper, as well as my logo and my channel banners, and even some of the overlay assets. They have everything a streamer could need all in one place. Now I created my logo in just a few minutes by choosing from one of the designs and then completely customizing everything from the color graphics and placement to the text and the fonts. And that logo can easily be added to all the videos that you can build and use in all kinds of different content that you might create for YouTube, like live or recorded. I absolutely love Envato Placeit and you will too. Click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Music and sound effects are a great way to add personality to your streams. The soundboard plugin allows you to actually dock a little thing over here on any location that you want on your screen. And when you dock this in here, what you can do is add audio effects or music or whatever you want right here to the menu on the left hand side. So you just click the plus and you go in here, 
you name your music or your sound effects and you select the file that you want them to come from and each individual one of these gets added in but you only have to do it once. This menu stays docked and it allows you to use the music or the sound effects that you select over here on the left hand side in any scene that you're in. It's really cool. You can adjust the volume on these, you can set them up any way you want and you have a really cool soundboard sitting right over here or wherever you decide to place it you can just activate them by clicking on the buttons really cool stuff running a stream can be extremely complicated and the less you have to worry about the better and this plugin's really going to help you automate things the advanced scene switcher is an awesome tool you can create multiple scenes and set it up in the advanced scene switcher so that it can automatically switch in between scenes at certain intervals or when certain things happen or with a certain hotkey however you want to set it up you can decide whether you want to switch between these scenes with transitions without transitions how long you want it to wait what the order is that you want it to be all of these things you can do to set up the advanced scene switcher to make it a lot easier to manage your live stream. It is really an incredible tool. If you haven't checked it out and you have a complex live stream, you should definitely download it, check it out, and see if you can automate some of your live stream to things that you don't have to worry about anymore. It's really powerful and it gives you so many different options. I absolutely love it. There is one plugin to rule them all. I do not ever stream without using it. It just has so many features and functions I can't live without. Of course, I'm talking about the Stream FX plugin. I did videos recently on some of the epic things you can do, but you can remove the background of your videos without using a green screen you can also use face tracking and it will follow your face around when you move around your camera will move with you as if you had a cameraman but you don't I also use it in every live stream to set up all of my different camera masks for this I use the source mirror feature you couldn't possibly use your camera in all the different face cams and shapes and different things if you weren't using source mirror the stream FX source mirror option allows you to create all different kinds of really cool camera effects effects and still have your original camera without it having any effects on it at all. And of course, these features are on top of all the other incredible things that are included in StreamFX, like all kinds of filters and everything else that you can use to transform pretty much any asset. StreamFX is a plugin that everyone should have. It is so versatile and it does so many cool things that you could use only this plugin and every live stream could be extremely creative and fun and different and unique because there are just so many options and features in the stream effects plugin now I know that's five but there are a couple of more worth mentioning and they're here because they're PC only win audio is a plugin that allows you to separate out all of your different audio inputs so that you can control the volume separately decide when something is muted or anything else so you can add discord game audio spotify audio any other audio that you want like audio from a web page multiple microphones you can have all of these audio inputs in your obs and control them completely separately it's a game changing app if you're looking to do anything complex with the audio in your live stream i use it all the time to have a producer able to speak in my ear without the stream hearing it and other aspects of what i do i absolutely love win audio it is a fantastic tool this final one i want to mention is actually an app that i use on every stream Twidget is an application that you should have. The two biggest features you're going to find in Twidget that are really easy is the ability to display individual chat that you select on screen to highlight it. And the second thing is the ability to go ahead and create a chat box and even customize it so it looks the way that you want so that you can have the entirety of the chat displayed on your live stream. It's really an awesome tool and of course, just like everything else on this list, it's totally free. And if you want to see more about Twidget, you should check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors who support the channel. Their links are in the description below. I couldn't possibly do this without them 
or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.